in today's video, I'm going to show you how to drastically reduce, if not completely eliminate, um, LED flickering lights in your videos. We just had Christmas and I just had some of my shots absolutely ruined by fairy lights. I forgot how much I hate them at Christmas, but they are everywhere and they're annoying because when you put a camera to them, they're so cheap, they're so badly made, they just they don't work well with your camera and when you start putting stuff down in super buttery slow motion, things just go to shit. I've dug around so much trying to find fixes for them and most of the fixes I come across do a reasonable job of mitigating the flicker, but it still doesn't get rid of it, it's still annoying, so I think I've managed to brute force a way to do a better job at it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to drastically reduce, if not completely eliminate, um, LED flickering lights in your videos. This should work in pretty much any editor you've got, but I'm gonna use Final Cut because that is what I know. First thing you wanna do is get the clip that is causing you problems and just lay it in your timeline. Next up, you need to duplicate that clip and drag it above your original clip and you need to drop the opacity to 50%. And what you wanna do is the, the clip that's above your base clip, you wanna nudge it either left or right two or three frames. You can use either the full stop or the comma key to do that. Um, just, just, just nudge it and as you're playing back, you'll notice that the flickering will reduce. And if you've seen any other video on YouTube, that will be pretty much where they'll stop and ta-da, magically fix. But no, it doesn't fix it, not most of the time. So I've come to you with a video that I think might help. So you've got your mostly fixed clip and you wanna select both of them and then group them. And then you wanna duplicate it. You'll have two groups of clips, one above the other. And then you do what you did before with your first clip. You set your opacity to 50% and you use your full stop and your comma keys and you nudge that two or three frames either direction. And you will notice the flick is gone. It's like magic. I don't really know what else to say. That's it. Unless you've got movement in your clips and then it completely fucks it up. You end up with some terrible ghosting. So we do a bit of a masking trick and what you want to do is you want to group those two groups together so you have one main group and then you want a copy of your first base clip and you drag your group which is actually a group of two groups on top of that it may seem complicated it really isn't you want to drag a mask on top of your main group and then just mask around anything that's moving if the flickering lights are only a little bit in the corner that you'll just want to mask around that but if you've got particular objects that are looking a bit janky like someone walking across the frame you just want to mask around them if they're moving the frame you'll want to try and track that person just by going through your footage either frame by frame or in chunks and then just track that mask across um, but there you have it if you like this if you thought this was useful helpful let me know in the comments down below and give us a big old thumbs up and if you think this sort of thing could be useful going forward, make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.